NXT Heat Wave. No, no, it's just another Tuesday night NXT, normal NXT, not Heat Wave. Don't worry, don't go anywhere else. We're reviewing NXT here, normal NXT. Oh, sheesh, oh my god. The show started with Chase U versus The Family, aka Du Hudson and Andre Chase versus Tony Angelo and st stacking stacks Lorenzo, whoever the other guy is. And the champs were Chase U and they lost it. On their first title defense, they lost it. I don't know what is going on there. There is some story going on there because Andre Chase probably struck a deal with the family, but something happened and I don't know what happened and everyone is wondering what is happening, but I'm confusion, so I'm moving on. After that, this week, Lita chose two pairs to go at it for the Iron Survivor Challenge. For the women's side, it was Roxanne Perez versus Lash Legend and I'm surprised that Lash Legend won, but in the end, it kind of makes sense. Roxanne Perez has its moment, so it's time for Lash Legend to shine a little bit. So I'm not too mad that Lash Legend won. The other match for the Iron Survivor that Lita chose was Joe Kofi versus Trick Williams. And as I expected, Trick Williams won, it's his time now, even though Joe Coffey deserves probably this time as well, but Trick Williams won, Carmelo Hayes was at the ringside, he was about to help, also the Gallus was on the ringside, Gallus helped way more than Carmelo Hayes, Carmelo Hayes in fact was a little bit useless and it was super close to lose the match for Trick, but in the end Trick Williams won, whoop, that Trick, after that the Brawling Brutes versus OTM. They, both of these teams are playing it like they have grew up on the street and now they're tough guys. And in the end, the Brawling Brutes won, which booking wise doesn't make a lot of sense to me because Brawling Brutes are already on SmackDown and OTM are tr trying to make a name for themselves. But I guess it's not gonna be at the expense of the Brawling Brutes. I don't know, but I kind of didn't like that the Brawling Brutes won, even though I'm a huge fan of Pete Dunne. After that, Gigi Dolan versus Ariana Grace. And uh, for everyone who is watching the show and you're wondering, what match can I skip tonight so I can watch one hour instead of hour and a half? This is the match. This is the match that I skip. Gigi Dolan won. Of course, Ariana Grace. Who the flip is Ariana Grace? She was a contender in the breakout tournament. She's a peaceful lady. I don't know. Maybe she should choose another gimmick, but I feel like this Miss NXT gimmick is not really working, so we'll see what is gonna happen in the future. For the main event, Baron Corbin versus the returning Wes Lee. Wes Lee is targeting the North American Championship, Baron Corbin is targeting the NXT Championship and these two fellas were having a fight. For some reason also Baron Corbin sided with Dominic Mysterio, also sided with Alexis King. I don't know who he sided with but Dominic Mysterio interfered in the match of Baron Corbin. And did Baron Corbin win because of that? No. Not entirely, but in the end, yes, because he, uh, Wesley was distracted and Barry Corbin hit the end of days and we all know that the end of days is really protected, so no chance for Wesley to kick out from end of days. So Baron Corb to, to Baron Corb, <laughs> Baron Corbin took the W and after that he started beating Wesley. I was expecting Dominic Mysterio to beat Wesley as well, because at the end of the day, Wesley is his problem, not Baron Corbin's problem. But Baron Corbin was beating Wesley. I, now I said Wesley. I, today is a mess. And Ilya Dragunov came out to help Wes, and he got the Baron Corbin treatment by Baron Corbin hitting end of days on him and now officially Baron Corbin is the number one contender for the championship 
and a deadline we're gonna see Baron Corbin versus Ilya Dragunov for the NXT Championship and I love he want to see Baron Corbin win I don't know also next week we're gonna see JBL selecting the next contenders for the Iron Survivor Challenge like Carmelo Hayes must be in the Iron Survivor Challenge with Trick so that drama can steer up also the next contender for the NXT Heritage Cup is Chad Gable. They were having amazing interaction with Noam Dar and the Supernova session and everything about that. So Chad Gable versus Noam Dar for the NXT Heritage Cup is gonna be next. So yeah, that's it for this week. And if I was rating NXT, I would have rated six out of 10, a little bit of a mid score but it is what it is honestly the opening was great the contender matches were great we had one skippable match the tag team match with the brutes in the otm was less than a mid and the finish was underwhelming and the main event was great but still a mid score so that nxt can improve in the future you know <laughs> with that being said thank you so much for watching and i'm gonna see you tomorrow for dynamite 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 oh this is not the song for dynamite this is only for collision peace